can go with Huh? By the way, we, we don't bite by the way. Ask as 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 we don't bite. The lady here, she asked a question. Yeah? And probably still the lady is a thing. Do you accept history? Good. Good, 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 good. Okay, okay. Good, good. Now, there is a respectful figure in the first century. And his name is, I think, Glacius of Antioch. Now, he is a respectful figure in the Christian history. One second. This person, he actually, he got actually burnt in Constantinople for certain views that he was holding. And actually, because he was against kind of, you know, people who were against Christianity at that time. So he wrote a letter saying, he was, he was in favor of the crucifixion of Jesus. But he was saying there are some Christians living in his time, in the first century, who says Jesus wasn't crucified. So he identified a respectful figure Christian of his own time, calling them Christian. They didn't take them, he didn't actually excommunicate them. And he believed, he believed that those Christians Maybe, maybe they misunderstood or certain thing, but actually he believes that those people that are Christian, even though they did not believe in the crucifixion of Jesus. So here, I am not bringing my text, I am bringing respectful scholars from the Christian scholar. By the way, hold, hold, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. They say, they say in English, hold your horses. You you seem to be you seem to be unleashing your horses quickly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Let's go back. Let's go back to the history. Since you are a historian believer, a history believer. Yeah. Let's 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 talk about history. Let's talk about history. Let's talk about history. Does the Bible has historical errors? Does the Bible has any historical errors? Simple question. You, are you Christian, sir? Are you Christian? Uh, no. Okay. 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 So let me. Is the question clear? Good. 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 That's good. That's good. That's good. One second. By the way. By the way. By the way. I ask you a question. If you can answer me yes and no, and then after we will proceed. Do you believe the Bible has historical errors? Okay, let me bring you on. <laughs> Every book has historical errors. Not the Quran. His, history is... I will tell you, I will tell you, I will tell you. Hi, history is, it, it comes from, uh, from the winners. Okay, good, good. I, 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 will tell you, yeah, yeah, I will tell you, listen to this. People have said there are historical evidence and then they have the evidence. By the way, do you want water to give you water? Yeah, so... So, so a whole lot of historians... Okay, good. I am I am trying to wait for you until you finish. <coughs> the question I asked you, does the Bible has any historical errors? You said you are not aware of that. I will say to you one one historical error. And it's actually one it's, a, it's something which is significant. Now the Bible, the Bible addresses the king at the time of Joseph was Pharaoh. Yeah? And as will the Bible, address, Joseph was, a, was Pharaoh. And as will the Bible, addresses the king. Yeah, here you go. Here you go. Yeah. 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 As well, the Bible addresses the king at the time of Moses is Pharaoh. So Pharaoh at the time of Joseph, Pharaoh at the time of Moses, Pharaoh there, Pharaoh here, Pharaoh everywhere. Yeah, that's how it is. The problem is, yeah, 
history now condemn this. Why? Now, after the discovery of Risotto Stone, and there is nearly, I don't know how many years, around six or seven hundred years, something like that, between Joseph and Moses. During the time of Joseph, Hexos, who used to be a Mediterranean reign, who literally took over Egypt, and they became kings of Egypt for around six or seven centuries. During their time, they used to call their kings kings, not pharaohs. Yeah, like for example, why we go far, the same country that we are living in, the same country that we are living in here, king of, of this country ruled Egypt at certain time. Yeah, they were, they took over, they colonized Egypt. They never called them as pharaohs of Egypt, never did that. Nowadays, there is a president in Egypt. Nowadays, there is a president in Egypt. His name is, he is a president, his title is not pharaoh. So. Here in the Bible, they address. So, since you are a history believer, the historian says that's a massive error in the Bible, talking about the king at the time of Joseph, who was a Hexos leader. He was a king, never used the title Pharaoh there. And then in the Bible, they say, Pharaoh, who said this? Why don't you call him Caesar? It's a, you will say it's, a, it's an error. Some people, they say, those are similar. Those are, you know, they're similar. King and Pharaoh is the same. Why did you call him Caesar then? Yeah? Why did you the Caesar of Egypt? No, no, history again. No, history says called king. During the time of Joseph. History says, history says, of course, you will disagree with the existence of God. That's fine. I'm not talking about this. I'm, I'm talking about according to the history. It's an error to say the king at the time of, of Joseph to be called Pharaoh. According it is no, according to an English historian who dismantled the Risotto stone and then they found out all what is written in the monument, the pyramids and the scroll they discovered at the time of Joseph, Hexos ruled and Hexos never used the title Pharaoh. Do you understand? Do you understand? Good. So, why, for example, for example, Romans ruled Egypt, yeah? They never used the title Pharaoh. They kept their title Caesars, yeah? They, they called themselves King or Caesar, even though they ruled Egypt. So they didn't change the title. The point is, when you are using the title Pharaoh to someone never used it, this is error and this is deception, basically. No, I'm talking about history because we are dealing with history with facts. They are recording. You are recorded. You are live. <laughs> okay. Now, since we demonstrated, <coughs> so we demonstrated. No, 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 no. I'm talking about history. History again. Your history. No, not my history. English history. The one who wrote this, not me, is English. Is English gentleman who wrote about the history of Egypt, and after dismantling the language, the hieroglyphic language, they discovered the Hexos, who ruled during that time, they never used the title Pharaoh. So, so basically, the Christianity flops with this. <laughs> so, how are you? You okay, sir? Where are you from? Portugal. Portugal? Yes. Okay. So, do you believe in God, sir? Um, I'm more of an atheist. More of an atheist. So, and as an atheist, do you believe, for example, do you know how we came into existence as a human being? How we, yes, we don't know how, how we came into existence. Science, science is still trying to figure that, that one out. Okay, that we, we, our own analogy, of using our own analogy, if you wanted to know about our the, the existence of the universe, now either this universe was there always, uh, respectful, respectful lady, we have done with you. So we have done. We have done. Okay. Yeah, yeah. definitely not the Bible. That, so, definitely not the Bible. That's why Christianity is dying because this is the problem. Because it doesn't answer logical answers. It just answer. You know, do you have to believe? You know, they will tell you. Did they tell you in the chat? You have to believe that you understand. You used to, they used to tell you this, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in Islam, you have to understand then believe. You see how it is? Big difference. Big shift. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. So here for us as Muslims. Yeah. 
God told us to use our, our brain, our intellect, to understand our existence. Now, firstly, this universe came into existence. Either this universe was created itself by itself, yes? Or the universe was there always for infinity. Or the universe, or the universe was it created by a creator. Do you have any other option? I have all, all, all those three that are basically, basically not, not knowing I have all those three in the same level. No, I will tell you something. No, because I will tell you something. For example, if I found this book here, and I will say to you, I found this book here, yes. and then the first thing comes to my mind, I will not think, okay, the particles and the things, they get under yes. certain pressure, they get and they formulated this book. Yes, someone put that book away. Yeah, someone you will you will say someone put that book. Yeah, yeah. So, lady, I I need to talk. I need, please, please, you, you are covering the camera. Lady, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. After, after I finish, after I finish with him, I will come back. Can you, you are blocking the camera. You are blocking the camera. Behind. Can you go back to your place, please? No, you are blocking the camera behind you. Behind you, look, look behind you. There is a camera behind. You. Try to understand. Why don't you be respectful? We're respecting you. Can you please be respectful and move from the camera? No, you could, you could jump on the table. It's not doesn't. This is not right. This is not a respectful way. To, this is not a respectful behavior. Do you understand? Behave in a good way. I respect you, and I deal with you in a respectful manner. Which is why you are telling us so many. Okay, I. Suppose if I lie or I didn't lie, yes, yeah. So, can you come closer to us here? Because sometimes some people know, are disrespectful. So anyway, I know. So, so you see so the I first. Get, day, I, get, I get that. Part. So, so you found someone. So, someone, put there, someone put has there. to be. It has to be this. Yeah. That's why, with your analogy, you decided that someone has put no, it I there. Have, yeah. Science. With your own analogy. Yeah. Why? Because you have. You know. Nothing come into existence without nothing. Even the creator. Once I will come to the creator. I will, I will discuss it, by the way. I don't mind. We'll discuss it. But let's talk about this. So since this universe, it's impossible to be there for infinity. Yeah? Because infinity is a hypothesis. It's an act number. It's not a figure. It is a number. I'm a mathematician, by the way. It's, a, it's an assumption which about, you know, assuming something so big. Because infinity plus one is infinity. Infinity minus hundred is infinity. So you're no, talking about the same thing. So that's why it's hypothesis, it doesn't exist. Or this universe created itself by itself, which means it has to pre-exist before existence. It has to be there to create itself. So that's, again, that's another impossible. So we will we'll end up with that, it was created by a creator. Yeah, are you following me now? I'm following you. Now, I'm still trying to figure out whether how, who created the creator. Good, that's fine. Now here, you see here, if we say to you who created the creator, and then I will say to you who created the creator of the creator. And then I will say to you who created the creator of the creator of the creator. And so on and so forth. And I'll go until infinity and again going back to the same point is impossible for this to happen. Because for example, if there is a hierarchy, because there is a creator and there is a creator of the creator, it goes like this. That means if the, if the one who wanted to decide to create this universe has to take the permission of the creator above him and then all the way up then with infinite number is impossible to happen yeah so that's why they have to be a starting point now and as well and as well this universe since within this universe is is it is finite so that's why beyond this universe the creator basically was there always he is the creator of everything he is what aristotle so said about him one second no no i'm not saying infinity i'm saying beyond this universe this creator, yeah, is basically is the unmoved mover, the one who moves everything into existence, and nothing moves it. That is the creator we're talking about. And why why does that have to be an intelligent design and not nature itself? Okay, now let's talk about this. Why it has to be intelligent? And you know, for example, all of these things actually, even it was discussed by the scientists, yeah, that us. It's, you know, you see, uh, what are the odds, yeah, of us to be in that distance between us and the sun? That odds, how it, how it came this? Because we know, according to the Big Bang, Big Bang is chaos. And from this chaos, how this 
you could say, fixed form with precise the numbers that came into existence and, and, and made all these things to happen. Adding to this, like, uh, like for example, they say, for example, about us, for example, as a human being, our eyes are here. Our eyes, for example, not like, for example, on the side. That it can be, and actually, if you think about it, if we have eyes all around, uh, you know, our, our brain, that's, that's better for us. We can see, we can have more visual, more vision. But here you see the way that we are, the way that we are designed, etc. All of these things was designed by a creator. And this creator not, not is... Not necessarily. My, my, my issue with that is all of, the, all of the mistakes, all of the errors that still exist within, within our existence on how, how we came to be. Okay. How, what are the mistakes that you're talking about? Which mistakes? Uh, simple, thing as, simple things as disease. There's not a mistake. Simple, Who told you the mistake? Simple, simple things as. Okay, uh, okay that's fine. If, uh, uh, I believe if. Uh, Disease is either, not a mistake. Either there is a loving God, a loving creator, or there is a sadistic creator. Because a loving creator wouldn't need to. wouldn't need to create suffer, suffering. Okay, so now you're not, going back not, to. Not only for us, but for all living things. Okay, good. You see here. Eventually, we exist here in this universe, yeah, on this world, yeah? Yes. And so we have a time limit, yeah, to live and to die. Yes. Yeah. So that time limit, it will be caused by different factors, yeah? Now you are saying here the suffering, etc. Actually, we receive it as Muslims from different perspectives. We see this suffering is a test for us. It is something that God will, will elevate. Uh, our our ranks and will alleviate our sins and as will God will pardon us will forgive us with that. these things. I understand so that for us for, we I receive it. I understand that for an elf. I don't understand that for a baby, for instance. Okay, good. Now even for the babies here. Now I will tell you something. Yeah. At I the don't end understand of the, that for a cat. For a cat. Yes. Again, all of these things it happens. It doesn't mean there will be no suffering. But the but the key thing that we believe God is just unfair. So this baby, whatever suffer that they go to, that, they, that this baby is in a better place than the place that it is now. Rather than what the age said they think. Now, so why, why come to, to this place to suffer and then go to a better place? Why don't go directly to the better place? Good. Now, again, you see here, when we are, when we are surrounded with all of these things, how we can appreciate the good things, the good health, Without we, we understanding the, the tiny baby no, that, even that the tiny died baby. birth did not. No, I will tell you something. I will tell, no, actually, not appreciate. You, you will be appreciating that you survived. You didn't die as a baby. Yes. You appreciated this. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, I understand. The, if this, the, the, mother, the mother's baby didn't. No, she did. She no, did. She, she did look at the look at the she, women. She was she was gladly. Look at the women. Died instead of her baby. Look at the women of Gaza. Yeah, Our, the ladies in Gaza. Yes. They will go. They collect the pieces of their babies. The, yes. Yeah. And they would like to trade places. With yeah. Them. And then what they will say, they will say, Alhamdulillah, praise be to God. Because they knew that they are in a better place. Now here, this suffering, we need to understand that it doesn't mean the suffering exists in this universe. Not necessarily everything in this universe is what God loves. Everything that happens in this universe, God wills things to happen here in order for us to know that this is not the eternal life. This is not the life that we wanted to stay in. This is not the life that we prefer to, to, to continue in. This is the life, it's just only since it is short. And as well, the death is written to anyone. Not necessarily why the death has to be written on someone who's certain age, not someone who is a lesser age. And this doesn't exist. And that's why when we say about our own justice, about our own, our own hypothesis of justice, Oh, we, we, we cannot be just. And I will give you one example. For example, according to you, you don't believe there should be capital punishment, yes? I don't believe there should be capital punishment. No, I'm not that radical. Okay. So you believe there should be punishment, but there is no capital punishment. Could be pun uh, capital. No, I don't believe there should be capital punishment towards one, one simple reason. For some people, it's too quick. Okay. Fine. You, you want something longer? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Thank you so much. You see here, my po our point Baby is. Baby killer, uh, rapist should not die immediately. Okay. My point is, what made you to decide this, based on what? What made my my life experience? Your life experience made you to decide. Someone else have his life experience different. Someone else has his life different. 
So how we can have an objective morality, how we can have an objective justice? We, we cannot have an objective justice. We have no, all, we have. All, 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 all of our, uh, all of our uh, everything is, is, is subjective. No, to it is subjective. Our yeah, that's why my our, our point we're is. We're born to the places we live, to the people we've encountered in our lives, everything. Yeah. Our point is, we we born inclined to believe there is objective justice. There is objective justice. We born with this. We born that this. All of us would we see something horrible. For example, if according to and from atheist perspective, actually a rapist, you know, who is raping women, for example, doing around, doing all of these things, he has a better chance of survival than the one who is not a rapist. According to, to to your own analogy of atheism, a better, a better chance. No, I don't, I don't follow. Bec why is that? Because here you brought you brought morality to atheism. You, you see you, here. You don't, you don't you don't need religion to be uh, to, to be a moral person. To be that, a good person. That, that, my point is, then we came. You said here, since there is suffering, etc. Since that means there is no God. That means as well, even us, we are here as a, as an act of surviving. Yes. We are here as an act of surviving, we are here as an act of living. Living, which survive, to survive. Which means that, that too. yeah, so survive, that include uh, as well having children, have offspring, etc. So if you see in the in the animal, you know, life, yeah, for example, those lions who literally rape other, whatever, they do whatever they, want, they do with other lions, they do all of these things, they kill babies as well in order yes, for, for his offspring yeah. to continue. All of these things, this is an act of survival. And actually, for you, that makes sense with the animal. Why does it make sense for a human being? Based on what? Because you, you, you brought the same judgment for the cats. You said, why the cat has to suffer, why the baby has to suffer. I will say to you, why, according from, from, your, own, from your own atheist perspective, is the lion is doing something wrong by killing the cubs and raping the other lionesses? That's, that, that's, exactly, that's exactly my point. So is uh, is it doing something good or wrong or wrong? They don't know if they if they're doing something good or not. We do. Because, what based on what? Based based on intelligence. Your intelligence. Have. So you have a different intelligence than them. Of course we do. And you, that's why you have a morality different than them. Exactly. Where this that's came from? Have, that's why we ha we have. Where this came from? If it's about survival, we shouldn't have this. No, it's, it's, you understand exactly, my point? I understand your point. If that's, it's, that's, that's, exa that's if, exactly. If us we, about survival. What, what, I, what I tell you is humans are basically an evolutionary. Because lions, that, this is what you're saying. I'll, 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 give you, I'll give you this. Lions have claws. Elephants to, to help them survive. Birds have, have wings. We were uh, a bunch of monkeys who developed, who, uh, which, in which evolution developed our brains. That was a mistake because now... You these, see here, you, you these, see here, you're these, saying, I can, I can, actually, you're the, the first atheist who says that our development is a mistake. Actually, I will say to you something, you see here, actually, according to evolution, uh, you know, I'm, people... I'm a, mistake, I'm, a mistake, I'm a mistake to nature, I'm a mistake to... The, no, 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 I'm, actually, they say the other way around, because they said, actually, it's part of our survival skill is developing our own interest. That's what they say. Which I disagree with that. No, it is. But, it is. It is. Okay. But it's, it, it was so that a, survival it was, skill. It was a nature. No. A nature okay. Survival. Even if it was a nature, as you mentioned, still this doesn't make sense because if it's about survival, actually, as you mentioned, monkeys who, who, for example, kill babies, they no, do this. By the way. No, it's it's good. They do for this. Us. It's good for us. It's bad for the for nature's equilibrium. Which one? Na na the, the whole, the whole nature, the, you see here, the you, of, of, that's why you will have, living species. you see here, that's why you have two standards to do different things. No. So if you, you should be consistent with the standard. Either it's about, you said just a minute ago, you said actually, uh, you know, uh, you know, a rapist must suffer because they do this. And actually, if you think from atheist perspective, that he has a better chance of surviving. So he's doing what his nature is telling him to do. So that's why. You don't have... A pedophile is telling him to, to, to do what that's he a, tells him my, to do. My point, yeah, that's my uh, point. The same thing, that, even that, nowadays... That doesn't make it right because we have a high... Uh, high uh, who decides? Who decides? Who decides? Who decides right or wrong? Who decides right or yeah, wrong? Who decides? One, one, one very simple, simple thing. Who decides? Who decides? You're saying something. Yeah. Someone else says something. Nowadays, for example, people believe, for example, gender identity, this is the decision of the community. 
So someone will say to you, someone who's a man or born as a man will say to you, I identify, I identify myself as a woman. That's and, no problem. Yeah, okay, my as point as is, as long according... As, as long as it, uh, uh, yeah, according... As, as you don't do bad things to me or bad things to that, other That's people. not my point. My point is, who decides the morality? Who that, decides? That doesn't have to do with morality. No, it has morality, to do... About, no, I'm talking about it's generally, about, generally, generally. It's about not, not doing bad, bad things to other people. What, what define bad? Having sex with children. What? Look at this guy. What, what defines bad? Define uh, bad, uh, basically. Who decides bad? Who decides bad? Each, each one of us. Decide, decide what's bad. Why? So we are we are now eight but, billion months ago. We are now eight or nine billion human beings on earth. Yes. Which means we have eight billion definition of bad. We have eight million definition of billion. bad. Billion. Billion definition definition of bad. But who decides then? Uh, Why I need to accept one, this is bad? One 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 sim simple thing, one one simple act. Do not do not make other people suffer. But again, this is you say bad, yes? Making, okay. Making others suffer. Okay, yeah. good. This is bad, bad. Yeah? yeah? Apply this to a lion who killed cubs and fight other lion, try to kill that lion, and then go and rape the other lionesses. Problem. This is not bad. The problem, the problem is... Meaning, meaning someone who is doing this act will say this is not bad. Who decides what's bad? The, the, the difference is... The, the lions don't have the brain the brain power no 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 they have they have no, the, no, they the, the have. i will tell you they have i will tell you something if someone have the mentality to be malicious to kill and you know and to do things look think about it the, uh, uh, to think to kill the cubs in order for his offspring to continue this is a pre plan it's not something it's not something which you say oh it doesn't have the it has the brain to decide this to do this yeah, and actually, they found some lionesses who found after they there is a, they found the tigers or, or lionesses who killed uh, uh, the, a mother of a monkey, and then they found the baby. So, so that I don't know for some reason she felt sympathy towards the baby and towards that child, and then she was kind of being good to that child or that baby, whatever. Yeah. So, Nurt so, nurturing. so the the there point is, of, uh, yeah, in the of cases mother nurturing yeah, other people. You see here, yeah, the point is. So it has the decision to kill, and it has the decision not to kill. It has to take care. It has the decision to be so malicious and to kill the babies of the other of the other lion. So, so and as well, even amongst monkeys, among among chimpanzees, as they say the closest to us, as yeah. the, as they say, they do the same thing. They attack. They have tribes. They attack. They eat the flesh of the others, etc. And then they have no problem with this. They will be a dominant male. They will come and kill the other male in order for them to survive. And as they will do certain things. You see here, who decides morality? Who decides? You see, uh, I am saying to you, and I'm suggesting to you, the one who decides morality is the creator. The one who tells us what is right, what is wrong. For us as a human being, we still incapable to decide morality. And I will give you an example. In Norway, not long time ago, a man came and shot 80 people on the street. You know that story. So he shot 80 people, yeah? So, according to the court system, that they have to jail him according to the crime. So they didn't find any jail fit to him, so they had to hire a special place for him, a mansion. Because they have to provide for him, that scumbag, they have to provide for him gym, they have to provide for him a place, they have to provide for the guard. So he is guarded in a mansion, yeah? He has his gym, and they will stay there for 15 years or whatever. That's the, you know, that's how it is. Which means he will train, you know, he's now halfway there. So he will train and then after he will come stronger than he was, yeah? He have, he have internet access 24 seven. He has TV, he has his own cinema, he has all of these things. And I heard, I don't know if that's true. I heard that he was entitled, according to the jail system, etc. He's entitled, if he doesn't have a wife, he's entitled to call for, for escorts to come to him to the jail twice a week or something like that, yeah? <laughs> Who was, who's paying this? Who's paying this? The taxpayer. Of course. The, the same loved ones of the victims, meaning the parents of those ones who they lost their, 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 their children, their, their husbands, their daughters, their husbands, you know, their brothers, the same ones who paying.
to the tax. That tax is used to, to feed this scumbag and to look after him in the jail. Actually, adding to this, he sued actually the jail because they served him cold coffee. You remember that, yeah? No, 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 no. He, he sued, listen, one day they served him cold coffee. He sued the jail, sued them, took them to court. And what happened? He won the case. They compensated him with the 12,000 euros for cold coffee. You love, yeah? Where is the justice? No, there is no justice. But, but, but I'm there not, is. I, no, I will tell you something. We are born in a client to believe in justice. We are born knowing there is justice. And if this justice is not happening here, it must be somewhere. Because since we are created by the creator, so that creator will implement the justice on us, either in this life or in the hereafter. That's what we will be like Muslim. Which brings me back to why uh, implement why implement justice in the afterlife and not implement justice in this life? Here, yeah, that's why in order for us to have the choice, the choice to do the right thing. And since we will not have, we cannot appreciate, so we will not have, we believe, we believe in the afterlife. Whoever has a plan. Yes, of everyone. course. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So, sorry. How, yeah, he has how, a plan. How can, how can there be a plan? And um, have we uh, people having free will? That's, uh, that's the, the point that, is, no, no, actually, no, the free, the plan, I will tell you something. If God knows everything, God knows our decision, God knows, that's, we are, we are living in this free will. It doesn't mean this will that we decide is not in, is not absent from the knowledge of God. Because God knows everything according to what we believe. Adding to this, we will have a free will to decide what we do so here God in this life. God already knows what, what's going to happen. Exactly. So what's the point of free will? The point of the free will us to decide. Allah says in the Quran, no, we, we won't decide if the, if, if, No, no, no. If the plan is, is, is already That's done. my point. Our point is here, you see when someone is stealing a car or doing something. So why do you steal this car? They will say, oh, God decided for me to do that. No, we don't say this. We say God showed us the guidance, gave us this inclination to submit to his will. Give us the inclination to believe in justice, not to harm others, not to, to love God, for others. God already knew that he, that, that he was going to knew, choose that. Knew, but if he stops you, you will have no free will. But he knew he was, he was going to do yes, that. Yes, if so he stops there, you, you will have no free will. There, there's, there's no point if in he that. Stopped, if God stopped every single evil act from us, then we'll have no free will. That's my point. Yes. That's it. But if, uh, if, if he knows you, uh, you're going to do that, if he already knows you're going to do knows, that. Knows, I will way, tell you something. Way, way, before, way before he created you, then what's the point? Okay, uh, that's the point is, someone who's gonna, who's gonna all, all of us, again, all of us, that's why without evil, we cannot appreciate the good. The evil exists in God's kingdom, exists in, the, in, the, in this universe, and it's part of the existence. Now, and God allowed it to happen, as well, may, you know, allowed it to happen, and he knows that it will happen. But that's why in order for us to choose, that's why if you didn't see someone stealing and you didn't know the harm of the stealing, no, you, you will not say, sorry to say. Because that act, that act was, was already going to happen even before you were born. My point is, if you are born with uh, all of the things that you do only the right things, do only the good things, you have no inclination to do something wrong. Yeah, but God, but uh, God, God, God creates everything. I, I, one second, God I'm, creates everything. Everyone again he created one person that knows. No, 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 no. Every single person, every single person, every single person of us, we have, we have a side that may incline to evil, and we have a side that may incline to do good. But God already knows which which, which side that, that's going to go. Yeah, knows. He knows. Now here, it's your choice. No, it's not my choice because. He, every, everything that's, that's Listen, we're, we're going in circles. Do you understand what I'm saying? Everything, Again, everything that, that's happened to me, everything that's going to lead to my choice comes back from every everything I've experienced since I, if, since I was born. If God, and that, one second, or, that again. is already you predestined understand? to happen. Either, no, no, I will tell again, uh, it's predestined to happen. That's, uh, there is something which we know this. My, our point, and I'm team repeating this. If God sees our every single evil act to, to be done from us, that means we have no free will. Simple as that. But if he has a plan, he already knows. That's why the plan, the plan is to, for us, for us, this is not the eternal life, for us to decide to choose him, 
for us to decide to choose the right leader. But he already for us, knows if we're going to choose him or not. Yes, yes, that's my point. He already knows. He has the absolute knowledge. So so Things doesn't so come. This, so this so there's thing. no point in that. No, that's why. That's there is a point because here again, the the point is for us, not for him. The point is for us. It's for us to do the righteous deeds, to choose the righteous deeds, and to have the full free will to do it. So when we meet him in the day of judgment, for example, at least we meet him with our righteous deeds. We don't want to meet him with our evil deeds, even though he knows about it. So the point is not for him, not to establish truth for him, to establish the truth to us. Does that make sense? It doesn't. Okay. Uh, again, because you are, I, have, I have two cards. I, I make. Two, two cards and I make this one faster than this one and I know already that this this car is going to win the race so what's the point okay you are you you use your own analogy and I'm not saying that analogy. I'm saying here every single human being most of us like, like the, the average for example they have the full choice to do what they wanted to do yeah they have the full choice to do whatever Whatever they were born to do, no, 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 whatever no. they were made to do, because yeah, yeah. when God created every single one of us, He already knew what we were going to do. Okay. Independent Again, of our in that's He, he knows. Knew listen, what we were going to choose. So why create someone who's going, who He already knows that's going to choose evil instead of choosing good? So let's use your analogy. If He, all the ones who are going to choose the evil, didn't create them, and create only people who will do the right thing, yes. they don't do the wrong thing. Where is the free will? The same, same. There is no free will. There, there is exactly the same free will when he creates people who do no. evil and people who do good. No, no, no. The, no, the, no, no, no. The not, no. Free by the way, by the way, by the way, you divided, you divided the human being into two categories. I'm not saying this. I'm saying to you, you have evil and you have good inside you. Inside you. You have evil and you have good inside you. Yes. You choose to do good, you choose to do evil. It's no, you. It's not... already pre, pre when, uh, when God created me, he already knew what, what Listen, no, 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 no. Again, again, again. I'm it's saying I'm, yes, again, he I'm saying predestined. I will tell you something. Predestined, this is the plans of God. God is questioning about your deed, not his plan, not what he wants. Yeah? He will ask you, why have you done it? It's now you. He's not going to ask me. He, he already knew what I was going to do. So I think he, we're still going in the circle. Exactly. Yeah, my point is again to you. I'm trying to explain to you. When God knows here, now it is your choice. The point of deciding the good things, it is you are blameworthy for doing the wrong things. You are praiseworthy for doing the good things. Even though this was already knows, known by God from before, from when he has created the heavens and the earth. And at the point, Every one of us is inclined to do good. Every one of us is inclined to do bad. So you don't categorize people evil and good. It's not like this. It's every single one of us has evil. Every single one of us has good. If you choose to do good, and if there is no, the evil doesn't exist, there is no choice. Without the darkness, we don't, we don't appreciate the light. Without evil, we don't appreciate the good. That's how it is. Do you have a Quran? Did they give you a Quran? Okay. Did you take this one? Every single one. All right. It was good discussing with you. And I wish you, and I wish you to read more. And that's, hopefully. That's what I will do. Yeah. That's okay. That's good. All right. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Take it care. was good discussion. Thank you. Okay. No, that's why I took it. Yes, I will. Okay, so my brothers and sisters, uh, we ask Allah to guide him. So we see here, we just we were going into circles. By the way, that's the point we were talking about the evil and the good. You see here, many people they, they cannot demonstrate, they don't understand this concept. We know that Allah Adil has pre-decreed certain things. Allah already has knows. Allah knows all the things that's going to happen before it happens. This is the knowledge of God. That's something which we which is known. But when it comes, but when it comes. To the following the truth, now here it is the decision done by every single one or to do the wrong things as well as the decision of every single one of us. We need to choose, but even though it was pre-planned by Allah wa ta'ala, at the same time that we should know that at the time of the choice Allah has stated, inna hadayna sabila, imma shakir wa kufar, we have showed him the guidance, either grateful or ungrateful. And that's the bottom of the line, which is Allah Okay.
Okay, thank you, everyone.